TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see it. Little warning screen and things of that nature. Just in case. Don't forget, we also... Twitch.com, that's where you can catch the live stream usernames on the bottom of the screen. And we got Patreon. That's where we watch stuff that we can't watch on YouTube, such as Premier League highlights. The link to all of that is down below in the description. This is Backpacker Ben. Going where no other larger channel will go. First of its kind, I kind of right. He going on hood tours. That's tough. Deep in London's most dangerous hood, man. Talk to me. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. Welcome to one of the most dangerous areas in East London. Newham, supposedly London's most dangerous area. Is the reputation true or is it overblown? There's only one way to find out. Around here, this just ends like, it's normal around here. Like, mm. you've got guys with wax, you've got guys with masks. But still, you can't just anyone, it's not just no one, man. Bang me in the, the church back. Wait, what's dude's name? Black Man the Traveler? That's his name? Back there. Just, just everybody that just lives here, you know, everybody trying to, to survive, really. It's a sh hole as well. Mm. All places are sh holes. Welcome to London. Now, in recent months, I've been coming up here a lot, making a lot of hood videos, ghetto videos, you name it, I've been there. But I'm back again because my good mate who grew up here in one of the hoods, has basically invited me up and said, Ben, listen, you need to- Ben, this is what we want out of you. We want this along with everything else, but we need this. <laughs> Come back and do it properly. Get right in, deep into the hood. So I'm back in London and I'm joined by my good mate, Amir. What's going on guys, it's Amir, AKA Blackman the Traveller. Right now we're new in East London and welcome to one of the most dangerous areas in East London. I'll be honest, it's, uh, yeah, it's a bit rough around here. I've been to a few places in London this is up there, so um, yeah, wish us luck. And me and mate, lead the way. Right, let's go. Let's, let's go. Out. Show you around the hook. I watched a few of uh, uh, black men, travelers. So where are we off to now, mate? Right, right now we're gonna walk around, we're gonna hopefully get some people on, cram on camera. Around here there's a lot of crime, and there's a lot of poverty and crazy things happening around here. So we might have to watch our backs, even if it's a, even if it's a Sunday, we have to be careful. You always gotta keep your head on a swivel in the hood. I don't care if it's a t Monday, at 7 a.m. and this school bus is around this you gotta always be ready man. Maryland Road, Maryland, E15 Stratford. So this is deep up. into the hood. You're deep in the hood, look around you, nothing but council flats. This is the only church over here, St. Paul's Church over here. The only church? The only church in the hood. St. Paul's, St. Paul's church, church on Maryland yeah. Road. Yeah. Look at this community centre mate, what's yeah. happened here? We've been through a lot. You just see what happens around and look at that with the trash on the street, as you can tell. But look this community centre is only open for private parties, birthdays, and local community gatherings. They're still using this? So for the money. This? Yeah. It doesn't look it, mate. Yeah, it's easier to reverse now. How you doing, mate? I'm good, how you Yeah, you good. Ben, nice to meet you. I'm there, but yeah. Oh, cheers. Nowhere, nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're from Maryland as well? I'm Maryland as well, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Amir told me you've had a couple rough run-ins around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Together. More times. So what time yeah, yeah. Yeah. When was this? Um, 2019. 2019. Jesus. Over what? Just time. Yeah. No way. Yeah, we were literally walking we on the main street. Well, we were tripping, it? And then a Range Rover came, blacked out. And then I turned around, I was like, yo. Yeah, yeah, the guy's like, yo, black man. Boom. Like this. Off. Run. Off. Right. Oh, bloody yeah. hell. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I need to be careful around here then. Are oh, you good? Now you're good. Now you're good. Now what if I was solo walking around here with my camera? <laughs> Any issues? I can't, like, I'm gonna be real with you. If anybody wants to come to me with, to Chicago, you're, you're never good. I don't, not, even if you, it don't matter what. 
it could go down at any moment. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I don't even want to put a delusion in your head. I don't want to put no false, false, uh, false like protective aura around you. Like no, it's not. I got it on me, and that's the only thing that's gonna like. You know what I'm saying? Even the skull. I can't, I can't, I can't let you come here with no false pretensions, like false, like narratives. My neighborhood or not, I don't know what's going on. And other people head. You know what? Justification is very hard, man. Still, but still, you can't just yeah. anyone. It's hard to one, man. Yeah. As you say, if you're in your local area, outside is now. Yeah. I come in now, so you got a huge you. Well, I'll keep my head down. Yeah, I'll stay. I'll stay close to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is one of the roughest areas. Yes, brother. Hello, mate. What's, up, bro? What's, What's your name? Kelvin. Kelvin. Ben, yeah, nice yeah. to meet you, mate. Ben. Black man, the shovel, eh? Yeah, of course. I the legend, mate. I'm with the legend of the area. Of course, I've always seen your thing, man. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from here, still. Literally, just came out of my yard right now, so. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's it like around here, then? It's mad. It's mad. It used to be yeah. worst, though. It used to be fucked. Salute to Matt in the day. He went from prime to a tier one sub. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, though, like. Around here, it just ends like it's normal around here. Like, mm. you got guys with wax, you got guys with nice, bro. Jake stopping us like every time. You could be wearing what my uniform, I'm getting ready to work. Go work come and stop you. Still stop me, like, yeah. literally, like last week, I got stopped by Jake's just off what stop by who? Police. By, by police, isn't it? Oh, the police, yeah, yeah. You gotta, you gotta kind of, you know what I'm saying. Around here, everyone knows everyone. It's like a family. Yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it a gang. You know what I mean? Mm. We all know each other. We all come up from broken families, the prime mm -hmm. neighborhoods. But uh, I'll be real with you. There is a lot of crime around here. Even if gentrification's started, but there's still crime. People still get stabbed. People might get shot. But obviously, over time, it is getting better. You know what mm. I mean? They do try to get make it better. Like they try to gentrify the area. Yeah. They seem like East Village and all of that, but. This part has always stayed the same. Mm. I don't think they've ever tried to change this whole spot. Everything's just been the same, broken houses and shit. Yeah. Like long boys are trying to make their, their family proud and like just mm. joke, work hard. Mm. So we can take our parents out of this place because no one wants their parents to be here. Look at this place. Look at this. It's a sh bro. Look it's a sh bro. Look at this. No one wants to be here, bro. We've got to go through it that every day they're thinking, they're looking at me like, rah, what is this what you go through? Mate, we've been some rough countries around the world Afghan, Syria, yeah. Iraq. But whenever I come back to London, you hear the stories. So I'm like, Jesus Christ! Like this is like three listen, hours ben, from my listen, home. Listen, exactly. yeah, really? there's a crime happening. You hear that? Always hear. 11 a.m. Sunday. What's Sunday. going on? Right, guys, we've left the hoods. Of See, when I go to the UK, man, I'm trying to pop out Friday night, 7 p.m. Trying to see what it is. Newham, which was literally a street that way, we're now on the High Street of Newham and it's just like shops like a typical high street you see anywhere in the UK a few shops a few bakeries takeaway shops the there's a church back there oh that girl's talking about getting punched in the face what's going on here mate he's kicking off on high street as well welcome, welcome to Maryland man it's a typical day and it's a Sunday it's the high street a lot of a lot of things happen around here you know a lot of crime you know a lot of a lot of petty crime around this high street you know, you got the Europeans on here trying to get the money exchanged, send money back home. A lot of things happen around here. Welcome to Newham. <laughs> Bro, man. Flex, flex. Flex, flex. Ben. Nice yeah, to meet you. Yeah, Where are you from? Jamaica. Oh, are you Jamaican? Yeah, yeah, nice yeah. one. I want to go next year. Yeah. Yeah. How was it here in Newham? It's all right to me, you know. It's good? We, we can't complain. No complaints? No, me can't complain. Me not know how people can complain, but me all right. Yeah? <coughs> yeah, me no complain. How, how long you been here? No trouble. Everything all right to me. No trouble? No, I've been there 32 years. Oh yeah, no problem. That's good. Bless you, yeah, man. Bless you, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Take yeah, care, man. Take all care, right. bro. Yeah, Oh, it is. Wait, wait. It's even Wi-Fi in these? That's convenient. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that went through a phase where they ain't, where they ain't had no plan on their phone, but it still work with Wi-Fi, and this is... 
This where you go. This convenient. I didn't know they had Wi-Fi in it. Look at this. It's an oil drum. It's an oil drum. Dude. Oil drum. Suitcases. What was in it? Yeah. This here, like literally five years ago, this is the hottest neighborhood in Newham. This is this is where it started over here. This is Alma Street. I guess you're not talking about temperature hot. No, this is this is this is t hot temperature, 40 degrees summertime. 60 guys over here. We even got cameras over here watching us. Look, we got three sixty cameras. Oh, this was the block then. This is where it was busting at. This is where all the guys was. This a, that's a corner store. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's also a dangerous spot. Who's over there? I need to show you the difference compared to where Amir showed me around this hood area and just across the street. I mean, look at this. Oh, All wow. modern, well built up, massive skyscrapers in the distance. Certainly a lot different to where we're walking around here. One street <coughs> away. I mean, massive difference. Oh. What's it like growing up in Newham? I grew up my whole life in Yulem, so for me this is like, people will call it the hood, but to me this is like friendly, everyone supports each other. Yeah. So I feel safe walking around here as a female, so for me, I wouldn't change it for the world. Like, I've moved to other areas in like London, like South, I hated it. Yeah. And I moved back to East because it just feels like home. The end's just the place to be. Yeah, the That's end's good. always be home for me. Because it's got a bad rep around here. It does. I don't know why. Yeah. Like I get it, it has history, but that's what's like part of the culture. Mm -hmm. Every every ends has its own backstory. But nah, she cooking. She's spitting real facts right now. But here, especially like Armour Street and everything new and yeah. it's calm. What's well, it like now around here? I'm talking about the generalizations that she was speaking on, not the, the specific to Newham. Much better now. Yeah. Much better. Yeah. The area is like more gentrified now. I think you can see the contrast between. Yeah, it's nice over there. Over there and yeah. this side here. I think. Um, but here was, it was terrible before, man. Yeah. It was really bad. Um, a bunch of like just just everybody that just lives here, you know, everybody trying to to survive really. It's getting better. Game, but yeah, it's a lot better. We're a lot better than yeah. before. Like much better. Well, that's good. Yeah, like before the I would say before the Olympics, it was just madness here. Mm. Obviously, that didn't exist. Yeah. So what that was, was there then? Just nothing. It was just like Wisdom. going to was Hackney, yeah. was great markets, all of that. Yeah. I remember back in the day as well. They used to have like we used to have like markets of like people used to grow potatoes, yeah, yeah, yeah. strawberries. So people used to have certain plots. Sounds like Plymouth. Oh, yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> My name's. We used to have some of that on um, Howard Street. We used to have some of that in Chicago. CB. CB? Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown. You grew up around there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been around there for a little while. How is it? It's nice. You see, we had a this is the typical... Uh, I wonder, I'm trying to figure out what type of build this is. This is definitely a hood inward build. Look at, dude, pay attention. Bro is rubbing lotion in his hands and don't got no lotion on his hands. This is typical. Surveying the area, head on a swivel. He's he, he do this. This is he's been through some stuff. Bro got his pants slightly tucked in the front. From back in the day, that's where he used to hold the blick. Can't do it no more, but he still got that muscle memory. So he tuck his shirt instead. I'm seeing it. I see it, man. The little gender, um, whatever you call it. So it switched up a little bit, but... Is that a black and mild behind bro ear? Oh, yeah. We hear, definitely. Yeah. It's getting better. It's getting better, but it is where it is, isn't it? Yeah. Is that anywhere else? Yeah, spot on. You know what I'm saying? Is he, so you've been your whole life here? No, 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 I ain't been my whole life here. Um, I've lived in various different places. Yeah? You know what I'm saying? What other places? Um, I've lived in Luton. Luton? Yeah, I've lived in Luton. What do you think of Luton? It's a show. Yeah, it's a show. It's yeah. A show. My cousins and I from there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Shit as well. Mm. All places are shows. You know, they treat us in, in, in London, like, 
everything's expensive, mm -hmm. and we just make do. But our community's tight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, everyone Very seems to... Uh, we all mix with each other. Yeah. We eat each other's food. And we, should, we respect one another, innit? You know what I'm saying? That's the truth. Best way. That's the truth. But yeah, it's nice. It's lovely living down here. You know what I'm saying? My boy can tell you everything about living down here. You know what I'm saying? Trust me. What's that whole postcode wars I hear about? Postcode wars, man. It's the life. I, I'm going to be straightforward. Growing up around here, the best way to describe around here, I would say, I would say crime, poverty. Here is very tough, but like I said, it's about it's about survival of the fittest. But since unification started, as you can see, that's the Olympic side. It's changing a little. Oh, it's quite modern over there, isn't it? So that's so, so that's where the, so that's where the um, E20 is, and that's where the Olympic side is. So once the unification started, the prices went up. Most people couldn't afford the prices. So some mm -hmm. people left. Some people left the neighbourhood. Yeah, this is Alm Street over here, man. This is my area where I grew up. This is a E15, but we used to call it M15, M15, M for Maryland. So we used to separate from Stratford because Stratford, two areas share, share, share the same postcode, Maryland and, and Stratford. Most places are like that though. If you really just keep like mind your business and worry about yourself, you know what I'm saying? Like you could like fly under the radar in the hood. There's always the quiet people or the ones that mind their business or don't want nothing to do with nothing and you just leave them people alone. How was your experience? Just when you were outside with friends and things of that nature, that's... It's going to the hood on a Sunday. Man, <laughs> I'm also a bit hungover, yeah. so that was extreme. But I met some interesting people. A lot of it I couldn't film because some of the stories they were saying, yeah, eye-opening. But, you know, a lot of friendly people there, so it was good, mate. Did you feel safe? With you I did, yeah. I don't know if I'd go back. <laughs> Would you ever come in by yourself? Nah, not a chance. <laughs> not a chance, man. Not a chance. Anyway, Amir, yeah. fellow content creator, YouTuber, and he goes to some crazy places. He's been to Afghan, Syria, all these places. So I've linked his channel below. You guys know him anyway. But um, what's your plan now, mate? So right now, um, I want to do North Korea end of the year, or I might just come back to Europe. But you know what it is? You can't plan these things. Oh. So it's got to be spontaneous, and whatever happens, happens. Exactly. I didn't think I'd be in the end today. Nah. And here I am. Welcome to one of the most craziest parts in, in East London. You're, bra you're a brave man. Anyway, I'm out of here. I'm now going to the ghetto, so it continues. I'll see you then. Okay. Step right the then, I'm the in a new location. Up. I've left Amir <laughs> and I've come to a place where I came three months ago, and that is Tower Hamlets. When I was here three months ago, they called this place the Ghettos of London. So I've come back solo with this camera. Let's see if I get into any trouble. Welcome Doubt back it. to Tower Hamlets. Let's have a little walk around. What is going on behind you? Buddy is in the first car ever built in England. What the hell is this? <laughs> Bloody hell, look at this beautiful car. <laughs> look at this. Yeah, what are you doing around here, mate? What the? It's abs. What are you doing around here? Hey. Bloody what? hell. Is this yours? You're back in the ghetto. I'm back in the ghetto. Mate, can you show me around? What I'm is this? Oh, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. If you're gonna come in here, you can't come in here like this, bro. What's wrong with what I'm wearing? You can't wear a bloody sweater in, in, in this kind of car, bro. What have I got to wear? You gotta wear a suit and tie, bro. Right, one second. Guys, I have just making me change my outfit. I'm too scruffy to get in this beautiful Rolls Royce. One second. How's this? Bloody hell, perfect, <laughs> mate. I'm, that will do, that will do. Can I get in now? Yeah, come and get I'm in. I'm coming. Come. Whoa, look at this. Can't you see they're doing a skit right now? Bloody hell, mate, look at this! <laughs> well, there you go, abs to the rescue. There's no way I can walk around the ghettos yeah. on my own solo. So, abs has picked me up in his beautiful old Rolls Royce, right. British beauty. Mate, I've Is got a he... couple questions. Why are you. It's loud, but it's smooth. Why are you driving this for? What am I driving? So basically we have a wedding uh, chauffeuring company. So what we do is uh, there's, other than YouTube, this is uh, what I do. So we have a wedding company and we do uh, chauffeuring basically. Simple as that. There you go. Abs is a chauffeur for me today in London. He's gonna drive around the ghetto, have a little chat and uh, yeah, see what it's like here three months later here in Tower Hamlets. <laughs> 
the other way. Rolls Royce coming free. I'm not gonna lie, this is a vibe. This is the way to travel through London right now. Like you getting all eyes on you right now. Uh, a whole lot of motion going on right now. <laughs> How you doing, lads? Right? Hey! Ladies, right? Making yourself now, okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, it sounds better. Yeah. Go on, mate, give us a beat. Go on, slap. <laughs> hey! Come on. Not the best reaction. It was a bother. Someone went, what the heck? Come on, get out of the way. Get on, mate, you're right. <laughs> Listen bro, what the F are you wearing bro? Mate, I look like a schoolboy. You look like my son mate. <laughs> <laughs> he said dress smart. I quickly nipped into Primark. Hey, Ben got that, uh, who, who, who wore that in, um, man, what's that show called? I love that show and I can't think of the name. Bought you know? a four pound tie, three pound shirt. I've still got my trackies on and my vans, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Whipping out. Is this how you live in Plymouth, bro? Man, I'm a Plymouth lad. We're scroats. <gasps> Abs, have you ever had any yeah. issues driving this around London in to like be, rough areas? No, nah, to be honest, not really. Cause, uh, cause this is a classic car. Everyone kind of tends to like move out of the way, like in case if they damage the car and stuff the respect like that. Him. So they got the respect. Yeah. This is the Alpha car. No one messes with the Rolls Royce. I mean, listen to that engine. Pure power. <laughs> In betweeners. <laughs> so Abs, why do you do YouTube, mate? Everyone's got their reasons. What's yours? Reason? Okay. Reason why I do YouTube is because I want to go to those countries where uh, most Brits or most people around the world won't go to, and uh, show them the the reality of that uh, country. And the second reason is uh, I got five kids, mate. And, you know, I want to make them proud. I want to make them family proud show, show your them. cool stories as show, well yeah, show my cool stories he's a granddad uh, in 20 years yeah. believe it or not perhaps it's 37 he doesn't look it does he looks like got five kids late 20s yeah perhaps keeps it real as well if a place is a he's gonna say it's a soul if a place is decent he's gonna say it's decent 100 percent. there you go <laughs> Evie Hall, mate watch everyone look ready <laughs> hey hey Guys, that was bloody good fun, driving around the ghettos of London, as they call it. Back with abs again. It's Mate, thanks a lot for that. No worries, bro. That was good fun. Anytime, man. Listen, if you want to have the exact same experience, who knows, abs might be driving you. I've linked it below. The page where you can rent this beauty, this bad boy. That's good energy. That's a stand-up guy you are, Ben. In the link below. Let's give one last little beep for the road. Ready? That's addictive, isn't it? <laughs> Mate, that is addictive. There you go. Good fun. I'm now going to head back to my hotel. Let's get there now. The river, what? This is nice. Guys, listen. After that Rolls Royce experience, wearing a shirt, wearing a tie, I thought, you know what? Enough of being backpacker Ben, scruffy scrote from Plymouth, shitty hotel rooms traveling around the world, 17 hour bus drives. I thought, you know what? Bollocks to that. I'm starting a new chapter in my life. I'm all about luxury from now on. So tonight, I've even booked London's greatest hotel. And there it is, the Britannia five star. Of course, I am joking. That is London's worst rated hotel. The reviews of this place, I'll pop them up on the screen now. My God, they are terrible. And for 50 pound a night here in London, which by Fifty pound a night. I'm in there. By the way, is a bargain. I'm gonna show you. Hold on, what's this called? You what my room looks like. So don't worry, guys. What Sign me up, buddy. I'm not going luxury. Enough of the Rolls Royces. Enough of the shirt and tie. I've got my trackies back on. Let me show you London's worst-rated hotel. Let's go. International hotel. Okay. Oh. oh. The problem that I have with a lot of people who be rating stuff bad is like, you get what you pay for. If you're paying $50 a night, not Ben, I'm talking about like the people who rated it this. Like, you pay $50, what are you? <laughs> I mean, so far, as you can bad. see, very dated hotel. Ancient, this is very old. But this isn't too bad. Bit of a musky smell in the air. Oh, my bad. room. Is down here. And there it is. 
Now, as you know, I've stayed in some absolute hell holes around the world with reviews. It's slightly questionable. Views that will put off anybody. But here, with the reviews of this place, I'll be honest, it's not too bad. I mean, you got a bed, nice big double bed. The sheets are minging though, and they're covered in hairs. But you've got a little chair there, got another chair there, you got a mirror, just had a meal deal. Let me show you the bathroom. I mean, the bathroom. The bathroom got an actual tub. Huh? It's very dated as well. I mean, look at the bathtub. But, I mean, it's pretty clean. It's sanitized to some extent. Nah, I couldn't even do it. I almost said I could, but nah, man. I mean, a bit stained now. If things come, if, if, if it get. <laughs> I could actually. What was it called? International? A bit stained in the bathtub. But, I mean, you can't afford it, can you? And for 50 quid, that is a bargain here in it London, is. believe me. Got a nice TV. And For 50, I'm in there, man. Tell Lily we like coming. I'm gone.